What's up guys, Andrew here. And today, I don't know if you can see behind me, I'm downtown St. Catharines. I'm excited. We're gonna do a vlog tour. I'm gonna show you around. It's frosty, it's cold, I'm dressed warm. Hopefully not gonna bail on any ice, but get ready because we're gonna take you around, show you what's happening downtown St. Catharines. So stay tuned. What's up guys, I'm Andrew Kulikowski. Only days away from summertime. I remember riding my bike up and down this path. There's a reason why homes in this neighborhood sell so fast. Going to Tim Hortons, our local high school. If you're serious about location and you love to entertain, are you ready? Let me show you why. All right guys, so I'm at the corner of St. Paul Street and Carlisle. If you can see behind me, this is a significant building that's being built. Uh, over to my left behind me, we have a 14 story apartment building that's being built. Uh, they broke ground about a year, year and a half ago. They're probably 30% of the way there, um, but pretty significant uh, building for the downtown core. One of the things that we're seeing here in downtown St. Catharines is the demand for higher density living. And we're starting to see a lot more of these apartment style condo buildings breaking ground down here in downtown St. Catharines. So if this is your first time on my channel and you wanna know everything about what it's like living in Niagara from work, play, eating, buying and selling real estate and literally everything else in between, then make sure you guys hit like, subscribe, and tap that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I post up videos just like this one. Now, right now, guys, I don't know if you can see behind me, I'm standing in front of a very significant and prominent building right here in downtown St. Catharines, the first Ontario Performing Arts Center. Now, this building was built in 2015. It houses and partners with Brock University. They have a ton of different theater, movie, and all kinds of different events that take place in this building. And in just a minute, I'm gonna take you down in behind the building at a lower level and give you guys a much better vantage point of what it looks like right here in downtown St. Catharines. Okay guys, so now I am down here just behind St. Paul Street. I've got the First Ontario Performing Arts Centre in front of me. Um, but down here, the city of St. Catharines has done some serious infrastructure. As you can see, they've completely redone this whole lower level here. And right behind me, we've got Brock University, the Marilyn Walker School of Fine Performing Arts. This is a beautiful building that's been completely revamped. Um, there's a nice little walkway that runs down along here over to the Meridian Center, which we're heading right now. I'm going to show you guys what is going on down in that vicinity right there. And here behind me, guys, as you can see, I'm standing in front of the Meridian Center. Now, the Meridian Center was built back in 2014. It was a huge deal for downtown St. Catharines and the city of St. Catharines. The Meridian Center is home of the Niagara River Lions professional basketball team in the CEBL as well, the Niagara Ice Dogs, which is a professional OHL hockey team. Also in the Meridian Center, you can count on having various concerts and events that happen throughout the year. And as you can see away up there, what's really cool and what really kind of put the Meridian Center on the map, and it was a game changer for the city, was this bridge that runs along from the entranceway to the main street of St. Paul. It provides easy and quick access to St. Paul streets, restaurants, bars, and everything else that's happening on the main street. All right, guys, now we're back up here on St. Paul Street. And as you can see behind me, this is the bridge I previously mentioned that connects you from St. Paul downtown right over to the Meridian Center. We are back up on St. Paul Street. Just wanted to point out a couple fantastic restaurants and local establishments that are located here. That one right there, you can see Beachwood Donuts. I'm sure you guys have heard of it before. If you love donuts, and this place is unbelievable, very common to see lines outside the door on weekends for people lined up to, tr to buy donuts at this place. It is so good. All right, guys, we're on James Street right now, and I had to make a stop right in front of my favorite Mexican restaurant here in St. Catharines. I had to stop and say a little word. It's my friend Jesse and his business partner Jose open up a Jose right here on James Street. It's a great spot. So if you live here, it's a staple. Definitely make sure you check this restaurant out if you are downtown St. Catharines. All my sushi lovers, two of my favorite sushi spots right here, East and Wind. 
you guys are sushi lovers and you're downtown St. Catharines, you've got to check these two spots out. All right, guys, so now I'm standing in front of 88 James Street. As you can see behind me, the advertising on the boards wrapped around this building. Now, this is one of the most highly anticipated condo buildings that is set to be built with occupancy for 2026. This is the tallest condo tower in St. Catharines at 30 stories with the condo units starting in the late $300,000 range. All right, guys, so right now I'm on Garden Park, uh, just behind St. Paul. There's a ton of stuff going on here I wanted to really kind of show you. This right here is uh, is actually an above-ground parking garage. Uh, always an abundance of parking, so when you're coming downtown, this is always kind of the staple. If you can't find parking on street level, this is the spot you want to be. And behind me, it's worth noting, uh, Critelli's Fine Furniture has been downtown for many, many years. A beautiful furniture store. And then we've also got it right over here. You can kind of see you've got the boot shop which has been around downtown since like the 1940s. It's a shoe store and shoe repair store. And then this spot right here, a great spot, Helen's Delicatessen. If you want a good sandwich for lunch, you, this is the spot you need to go. And then right over here, you can see as previously mentioned, you've got this brand new 14 story apartment condo building being built right now. You can see, all the work that's actually taking place right now. It's pretty crazy. It's such a small footprint and all the work that's going on down here. Um, but we're excited and happy to see this happening down here in downtown St. Catharines. All right, so now we are uh, driving down a very historic and well-known street here in St. Catharines called uh, Yates Street. Now Yates Street, uh, historically an upscale uh, neighborhood and section of downtown St. Catharines. There are some beautiful, beautiful Tudor style and character homes that uh, date back as far as the late 1800s. Um, and as you can see, I'm going to catch some really good B-roll for you guys so you guys can really get a good scope of how beautiful these homes are. The homes over to my left right over here are actually overlooked. They're on ravine a lot and they overlook the uh, 12 mile creek. You get some really, really great views uh, of uh, part of the city from this direction right here. And we just drove by this uh, luxury condo building. Uh, the address is 77 Yates Street. Uh, a really beautiful development. Uh, the condo units in this building are ranging, kind of starting from what I remember around the mid 800 range going up to 1.2 to 1.3 million dollars in the building. It's a really beautiful building and overlooking uh, the 12 mile creek and the rest of, uh, of the city. All right, guys, we're here now at Montebello Park, downtown St. Catharines, the most famous park. This is a fantastic park right in the middle of the city in the downtown core. Just an interesting fun fact, the designer who designed Montebello Park, his name is Frederick Olmsted, was actually the same designer of New York's Central Park. So here at Montebello Park, there are a ton of events that take place throughout the year. Primarily in the summertime, this park is home to various concert events. Uh, the Rib Fest takes place here as well. The most famous and well-known event that takes place here, everybody knows this, is the St. Catharines Grape and Wine Festival, which takes place in September. It spans over a two-week period. It is without any doubt any of the local residents who live here in St. Catharines love taking advantage of the St. Catharines Wine Festival. So guys, in this neighborhood here, in this vicinity of Montebello Park, there are various types of homes that are situated here. You have a mix of multi-residential homes, duplex, triplex. Obviously, you have apartment buildings, condo buildings. Um, but primarily, kind of in this vicinity, you have a lot of century-style homes that were built in the early 1900s over in this neighborhood over here. Um, typical to find smaller lots, a um, lot of character. Walking scores are fantastic here. People who choose to live in this downtown area love the location because of how easy it is to access all the amenities and they get to take advantage of all the great events that take place in the downtown core, especially here at Montebello Park. So with regards to pricing, if you're interested in living in this downtown core, you're going to be looking at prices kind of starting in the high 500 range for more of a small wartime bungalow. Uh, but again, as previously mentioned, with the various selection 
um, different homes here. Uh, it is pretty common that you could also find homes um, upwards to $1.5 million and everything literally in between. So it really just comes down to budget and what kind of needs and wants that you are looking for when looking at a home here in the downtown core. Well, that wraps up my downtown vlog video, folks. I hope you enjoyed the video. Now, most importantly, if there's something that I missed or there's information that you're looking at getting, maybe you're looking at relocating uh, into the downtown St. Catharines area or in the St. Catharines area in general, then make sure you reach out to me. You guys are always welcome to call, text, email, schedule a Zoom call, whatever works for you. But just remember that I've got your back when making your move here to St. Catharines. But that's all for now, folks. Thank you for watching, and we're gonna see you all on my next video.